Carlson comes out with a brand new anti-shading solar panel, which I've never seen a panel designed like this one. So I'm hoping for a good performance, but I'm going to run you through kind of like their little sales advertisement thing because it actually explains things pretty well. And then we're going to come back and take a look at this, do some testing and see how well it performs against Carlson's real popular 200 watt panel. A groundbreaking innovation. Carlson anti-shading N-type solar panel. Callsun adopts an innovative four-module parallel structure, dividing the panel into four independent power generation units. So when shade falls here, power generation never stops in the rest. Under partial shading, our technology delivers significantly higher output compared to conventional panels. At its core, premium A plus N-type cells drive efficiency over 25%. High density 16 bus bar design, enhanced current collection, lower energy loss. With advanced encapsulation, it maintains over 84.5% power output after 25 years. Our panels capture direct sunlight on the front and harness reflected light on the rear. Precision in every panel's craftsmanship ensures its outstanding performance, engineered to be stronger yet lighter and more compact. It integrates seamlessly, elevating both your roof and your energy independence. IP68 protection keeps internal circuits dry and safe from heavy rain, dust, and road splashes. Okay, if you're new here, a while back I did a test with five 200 watt solar panels trying to find the best one, and I bought all of these myself. This included the Renogy Shadow Flux, also the Bouge RV Bifacial, Call Sun 200 watt Bifacial, and a couple others. And after doing several rounds of testing, the Bifacial from Call Sun actually won by a decent margin because I thought the Renogy panel was going to be the one I was going to use for my RV. After testing, it ended up being the Call Sun performed a lot better. So it was cool that they came out with this new one. They did send this to me, but in no way am I trying to sell it to you. I'm just giving you information. After that, you can do what you want. If it's something you want to use, great. Okay, just for size comparison, that's the Renogy Shadow Flux. This one here is one of the call suns that I bought, and that's the 200 bifacial. So if you take a look at the new 215, this one, if you were to put them right next to each other or stacking on top of each other, they're actually the same width. But this one is five inches taller, and that's about it. Other than that, you can see that they're relatively close in size. Even though this one looks like it's a lot bigger, it really isn't, it's just taller. And again, they're using these quarter cut cells, as you can see right here, each one of these, that's like a cell pack, right? So here's a cell, there's another one, there's another one with the 16 bus bars running all the way through each one of these cells. And so then if you take a look here, this is one section, then another section, here's another section, and another section to complete one row and then there's your four. So pretty cool. And if we take a look at the back, you can see the difference in this one, which I'll show you the call sun 200 in a second, but really simple design, right? And it, it's surprising that nobody did this sooner to come up with better shading because all they're doing is paralleling these together in different sections. And so now you have the call sun by facial 200 right there. So one solar panel on this side, one solar panel on that side, then sandwiched together versus the one, two, three, four, and then sandwiched together in the middle. Okay, so take a look at the specs right here real quick. On the back of the panel, pretty hard to see, but this is our open circuit voltage and then our short circuit current. So this is going to be for your 12 volt systems, but of course, if you put these in series, you'll double your voltage or double your amperage if you're wanting more amps, depending on what it is you want. But overall, just a lower voltage panel, so just to kind of give you an idea, depending on what you want to do with your project. So I'm going to be comparing the 215 to the 200 because the 200 Renogy over there already lost to this 200, so no reason to include this one. So really, it's going to be the same brand battling for which one is better because this one does cost a little bit more than this guy. So let's see how well it does. Okay, so here we are. We have the new Call Sun 215 right there and the older design, which I mean, it's not really that old, but that is the Call Sun 200 bifacial. So both bifacials. And again, because the other panels are just not as good, there's no reason to even throw them in this competition because that 200 did so well. Okay, and just to get a temperature reading, I'm gonna go about two, three feet off of here. Come and hit those last two cells. 
about 112 degrees as far as our surface temp just kind of move it around a little bit we'll do one more shot still about 112 so now we will go right here just to make sure that they're both around the same temperature this one's actually a little bit hotter and i put this one out here a couple minutes later not by much okay 114 there and 114 there oh 116 there of course it also depends on where you hit it but 110 there and 112 there and back again another well 122 123 so it really depends on where that little laser hits but we're going to say you know 113 115 so they're pretty much both equal temp okay now both of these are set up equally as far as the angle and i am almost at my peak solar noon or solar radiance but we still want to make sure just for testing purposes we are getting over a thousand watts meter square and as you can see this is a great day for testing because it's sunny it's about 68 we have 1250 right now if we tilt that back and forth a little bit you can see we're just about peak so we're actually optimized right now so we'll get moving before that goes away so before we plug these in we'll also do the can check now if you've ever seen some videos from this other guy he uses a can i think his name is jason right he says you have to have the chicken and stars if you want the best performance so i grabbed one so if you're watching jason look at that we're not quite at a perfect zero shadow in about 15 minutes i probably will be so we'll start testing now by the end of the test i will probably be about there Okay, now I've already done a quick pre-test because I wanted to make sure because my cables are almost identical. The only thing difference is one is a XT60, the other one is a XT60i, but it makes no difference as I've swapped them back and forth already. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in both of these onto the back of this little EcoFlow power station. Plug in one right here, plug in one right there. Okay, so we'll let this sit for about oh, one minute so it can kind of equalize and then we'll take a look and i have two solar inputs on this unit which is great and so these will take a second as they go up and down and so let's come back up here and take a look now this one over here is going to be the 200 watt this one down here you can see it's still going back and forth a little bit which is why it weighed but this is going to be the 215 watt and again both of these are bifacial i don't have any kind of reflection devices on it or anything like that because again if you want the best performance with bifacials you really need to have them about three feet off the ground or more you know it's kind of hard to do that it depends on your application but the pricing on bifacials is still good so it's almost like why not buy it anyway that is pretty crazy the 200 watts still performs amazing they're getting almost identical as far as the wattage this one's actually just a little bit less so we'll do a shade test here look at that 188 192 that is just crazy they're so close I, again that is just how good that 200 watt it is it, it's amazing okay let's uh, let's check out the uh, shade performance we'll see how it does okay we're going to start shading the 200 watt first and i also marked the anti-shade as you can see there in the lower left corner but now right now if you notice 106 watts for the 200 watt solar panel but that's because really only one side of this solar panel is working and that's the right side the left side of this solar panel is only putting about three to five watts roughly so i'm going to continue moving this over and then we're going to shade half and half so half of each side of this and this is when it drops down to really about nothing about 10 11 watts we're going to do this same test on the other one as well and as i continue to shade both sides of this 200 watt you can see our max is about 10 or 11 watts so we'll move over to the 215 watt panel now so now as we start to shade the 215 again i'm only going to do about a third or a quarter of this just to hit that first section we still have 151 watts coming in and now i'm going to start hitting on the other section but now look at the 200 watt panel it's only doing 105 watts and the new 215 is doing 105 versus 103 for the 200 but now as we continue on and do about a 50-50, this is where we're going to see kind of a big dramatic difference. So I'll move to the middle of that 215 now, and this is where we see a decent difference. As before, on the 200-watt solar panel, we were pretty much at 11 watts. This is where we are actually seeing a big difference versus 11. We're getting somewhere around 42, 50 drops down to about 30 and now that i'm pretty much covering up the whole panel with my body in that shade this is where the other one was putting out 11 this one's doing about 18 to 20 jumps up to around 60 
but definitely performing much, much better as far as the shade goes versus the 200 watt bifacial. So just to kind of give you a different view of this, same kind of a test, we'll shade both of them now. And you can see they're almost identical, the 215 putting out a little bit more, which it should, it is a bigger one with newer technology. But now what happens when I shade both right in the middle, this is where we see the big difference. You can see that 215 still putting out 103 watts versus the 200, it's basically dead. This is where this one definitely excels as far as its shade performance, so exciting to see. I'll do this one last test where I'm just going to do kind of more of a side to side versus covering up just the sections where it's paralleled. This will kind of show you a different perspective of how the shading works and kind of doesn't work, but still doesn't do bad. But at this time, it's actually not doing better than the other one. But also after letting this sit for a little while longer, the 215 consistently started putting out more and more watts. Okay, so overall, it definitely does better when comparing to shade. Now, when they're both just out in the sun, man, it is so close. This one seemed like it edged it out a little bit, but it is bigger. It's a 215 versus a 200, so it should provide a little bit more watts. But now, depending on how you're going to use this, do you have a lot of shade problems? Because this definitely would do better. But is it going to be worth the price difference? Because this one being brand new, obviously when anything is new, it's going to cost more versus the other ones. I already see them on sale for such a great value. So that might be something you'll have to decide on which one of these is going to be better for you. For me, if I was doing my RV build now and I didn't have the 200s up there, I'd be putting these up there because they definitely perform better in the shade and I go a lot of places where shade is a factor and also at my home I have trees and I also have the house that kind of causes some issues when I want to power up things. But overall definitely cool to see new technology always coming out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. I hope this video helped you out and I hope to see you in another one.